Evian Allenson after a 1 0 win against Dartford on Tuesday evening at the, the uh, Princess Park Stadium. Ian, first thoughts, what do you make of that victory? Well, a tough victory, um, as I said, against a very good side. Um, a game we've had to overcome, a, for me, a poor decision in terms of the penalty. I've had it sent to me already, and it clearly shows it wasn't a penalty. Um, and, and we've managed to do that. I mean, Michael's made a fantastic save. Um, we've stayed in the game. I felt first half, we had two or three patterns of play where we were very good. I didn't think we got hold of the ball enough in the second half. And full credit to them, they squeezed a lot higher up the park, they had a lot of possession. It really never hurt us too much, um, apart from obviously the decision the refs give against us. Michael, as I say, has made a great save. And I felt by putting David on, we'd start to get the, keep the ball a little bit better than what we did. And, and we started to do that. And we started to have little patterns of play where we, we had four or five passes and got, got further up the pitch and got into the game. And, and luckily enough, we've had. Uh, Sean's hit the crossbar and then he's uh, smashed one for about 25, 30 yards, which I think he's hit the crossbar, bounced down, hit the crossbar and went in. So, amazing, amazing effort from the players, to be fair, first and foremost. That was a tough game tonight. Um, and there's a reason why they're top of the table. Um, but, you know, we've had to come here and, and defend in numbers, work extremely hard and we've got our rewards. And uh, I'm really pleased for the players, for the club, for the supporters who've been here tonight. And uh, when I say supporters, they're obviously the staff and then obviously the supporters are watching it at home. Um, so hopefully we can put a smile on their face, especially going into tomorrow. You talk about Darfa being top of the lead. It must really please you to stay in the game so long and win it so late on that sort of fight, especially when you tell you decisions went against us in parts of the game. Well, it did because obviously you're looking, as I've said to you, you know, we've had the, the decision at Concord. For me, the decision against Ebsley, decision again today, and you know, they're not penalties. And you know, we've had, and I've had emails, the club's had emails from one or two of the referees since them games. We, we've got a complaint in, and uh, they've apologised for, for their performance, they've apologised for giving the penalties, they've apologised for sending people off. So, you know, as I said before, I've been in it a long time, and I'm the first to wipe my mouth and say that we deserve that or we didn't deserve that. And, and for me, that was never a penalty. I think everyone see it. He was, was astonished. You see Michael's reaction. Uh, as soon as the penalty was given, his reaction with his hands on his head, um, and, and he's pulled off a fantastic save. So, uh, good play from him because we spoke about it before the game of uh, where if Sheringham takes him, where he puts his penalties, and Michael's listened and, and made a fantastic save. And I think that just give us the lift for the last sort of 20, 25 minutes that we needed. Um, and as I say, we hit the crossbar, we got the goal, uh, and see the game out really well, really professionally. And uh, you know, I'm really pleased the way that, that, that they've seen it out. As I said to you, we're a little bit stop-start at the moment. We're going to have a real test now. The squad's going to be tested um, in terms of where we are in in terms of playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. And that will give the whole squad a, an option to show us how good they can be. Um, but at the moment, you know, the boys that have had the shirts have done an ex exceptional job. We have to talk about Sean's goal late on. It was absolutely unbelievable strike, wasn't it? Well, it reminds me a bit like Sam Merson last year where he's had the shot late on. It's hit the crossbar and bounced down and, and come out. And, and I'm not sure if the first one was in. That's the thing. It's hit the crossbar, bounced down. I don't think it when it was the second one was bounced back up and hit the crossbar. Just took it over the line. So, yeah, I mean, fantastic effort. I mean, that's what Sean's got in his locker. We know that. Uh, that's why we brought him in. Um, as I say, he's had the one just before there where he's hit the crossbar, smashed against the crossbar and come back out. So, but again, we've had to ride our luck a little bit at times. You know, they've got in three or four times in some good areas, especially in the first half. It causes a few problems down our right hand side in the first half. They've got too many crosses in. We managed to stop that and uh, we managed to do that and uh, second half was much better. Of course this has maintained our unbeaten start to the season but you say we've got a tough test coming up in the next couple of weeks. Well, exactly, I mean as you say the longer you go unbeaten the more people want to beat you so we have to overcome all of that um, and that's football at the end of the day. You know, as I said we've gone six games now um, undefeated in the league which is, which is good um, but there's a, there's a challenge for all the players, there's a challenge for me, there's a challenge for the staff, there's a challenge for the players and there's a challenge for the club that you know, with the start that we've made, you know, do we do we want to stay in and around it? I certainly do. I know the staff want to do it, so you know, the challenge will be to the players to um, to make sure they want to stay in and around it. And we will go through a little bit of indifferent support, uh, form at times, um, but it's how we we react and come out of that indifferent form. And at times today, we you know we haven't we haven't been in the game for long periods today. We've actually dig really deep uh, and take our chance when it came along. And uh, that's football at the end of the day. As I say, if you don't score goals, you don't win games of football. And uh, you know, we came here, we set our stall out, we worked extremely hard on Saturday morning on, 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 on what our, our strengths and weaknesses were. We worked on a, Chris, Chris and Steve, fantastic. And we, we trained for two and a half hours Saturday morning in, in, in awful conditions. Um, but the players, uh, so they took it on board and they've taken it out today um, and, and, and put it to test. Uh, I still think you know, we didn't get across the park as quick as we could have done at times. But you know, full credit to the staff for the session they put on on Saturday and full credit to the players for listening. Thank you, Ian. No problem, thank you. 